Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to talk about high blood sugar and how it causes Alzheimer's. Now, if you didn't already know, having high blood sugar is a primary cause of aging. In fact, many diseases and cancers are all linked to having elevated blood sugar levels. Not to mention, high blood sugar level also causes weight gain, low energy, moodiness, and even wrinkles. However, the newest scientific research shows that high blood sugar is also the leading cause of Alzheimer's. In fact, Alzheimer's is now considered a form of type 3 diabetes. Now, as a reminder, type 1 diabetes is purely genetics, and it typically happens in children and young adults. They basically need to inject insulin for the rest of their lives. Then there's type 2 diabetes, which is more of an environmental cause, coupled with genetics. Now, too many years of high blood sugar and insulin levels wears out the insulin receptors in the pancreas. So eventually, you become type 2 diabetic and you need to watch your diet, you need to exercise, and take medication in the form of pills and or injections. And now, there's type 3 diabetes, which is linked to Alzheimer's and cognitive brain aging. Now, similar to type 2, your body is less sensitive to insulin. However, instead of affecting the muscle cells, type 3 diabetes or type 3 focuses more on your brain cells. Now, most people don't know, but your brain requires a lot of energy to function. Basically, it's an energy hog. Although it's just 2% of your body's weight, it demands over 20% of the oxygen and calories you take in. Now, when your brain cells resist insulin, they don't take in the glucose they need to burn for fuel. As a result, they're hungry. Right, Therefore, they slowly starve to death and their ability to function goes with them. And this gives you brain fog or you know those senior moments of forgetfulness, mental fatigue, difficulty in learning new things, problems in concentrating, and of course, memory problems. Now, over time, the reasons nobody understands, these beta amyloid plaques replace the brain cells and that's Alzheimer's. Now, with the beta amyloid plaque substituting for function of brain cells, people get all the sad and unpleasant symptoms of Alzheimer's, which is, you know, the permanent loss of precious memories, the change in personality, and the irrational behavior. And all of this starts to explain why type 2 diabetics are twice as likely as non-diabetics to get Alzheimer's. In fact, you can have both kinds of diabetes, and millions of Americans do. Now, there is good news. For decades, because scientists hadn't found the cause of it, the mainstream media, you know, had portrayed Alzheimer's as a, you know, mysterious, incurable disease that you either got it or, you know, you didn't. Or maybe it came from bad genes and thus you couldn't treat it. Once you got it, you know, it was all downhill to the end. However, the good news is that because it's a variation of diabetes, you can dramatically reduce your risk of getting it just as you can reduce your risk of getting type 2 diabetes. In fact, millions of people have reversed their type 2 diabetes with improved lifestyle and thus similar positive effects can be had with type 3 diabetes. Okay, so let's talk about the solutions and three simple changes that you can make. Now, whether your goal is to avoid Alzheimer's or any form of diabetes, you want to simply reduce the aging process, both physically and mentally, you need to control your blood sugar and insulin levels. And there isn't enough room for me to explain the whole process here. However, there are three simple changes that you can make today that'll cause dramatic improvements in your blood sugar levels immediately. Now, the first is your diet. You know, you need to improve your diet by eating less sugars and processed carbohydrates and grains. Basically, try to have more vegetables, healthy fats, and proteins. Next, you wanna exercise. And this is because the more muscle you have, the lower your body fat is also, the better your insulin sensitivity. Now, lifting weights, whether you use cables or dumbbells or machines or just your body weight, three times a week, coupled with daily walks or at least, you know, maybe three times a week with that will make a huge improvement in your blood sugar levels and most importantly, your insulin sensitivity. And finally, we have supplements. Believe it or not, there are about a dozen clinically proven herbs, vitamins, and minerals that scientific research has shown over and over again that'll help improve your blood sugar levels even better than drugs and without the negative side effects. So diet, exercise, and supplements when utilized together is by far the best and most effective and safest solution for improving your blood sugar levels, preventing and reversing aging, and helping you live a longer disease-free life. Now, under this video, I've got links to two bonus videos about this topic. One of them is a simple formula that I use daily, which lowered my blood sugar by 46%. 
And the other link goes to a video about how my uncle lowered his blood sugar, reversed his diabetes, and lost 34 pounds at the same time. So scroll down, uh, click one or both the links, and watch these uh, two exclusive videos about this important topic. Please do this now while it's fresh on your mind, and let me know your thoughts. And that's it for today. You know, I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel because I've got some really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments below with any questions you have about today's topic or future ones. And most importantly, do yourself a favor and make sure you take a look at the uh, exclusive links that lead to the two bonus videos below uh, with simple and natural ways of lowering your blood sugar. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.